Hi guys, what is up? Dota Games here, and today I'm bringing you sort of a gameplay tutorial playthrough of Prison Architect. So this is episode one, and we're going to jump straight into it here, but Prison Architect is available on Steam. I'm sorry, I don't know for what price. Um, yeah. And yeah, so we're just going to jump straight into it and create a new prison. So we have all the um, settings here, so we're going to make it a large prison. Fog of War, basically you can only see your prisoners or areas of your prison if you have CCTV cameras, guards or anything like that there. So we're going to leave that on because it makes the game I think a little more interesting. Continuous intake is where you always keep taking in prisoners so it never stops. We're going to leave that off. Generate forests, we're going to leave that off, that's pretty self-explanatory. Generate lakes and generate buildings is pretty much the same, we're going to leave all of them off. Failure conditions adds an extra challenge, you will be sacked and it will be game over if you let things get too bad. Riots, bankru bankruptcy, too many deaths or escapes, stuff like that, we're going to turn that off. And unlimited funds, it's pretty much sandbox mode, you can go into debt as much as you want and there'll be no punishments for that. So we're going to go with this, these settings with only Fog of War on and we're just going to hit play. So we're going to hit pause up here in the top right corner straight away and you'll see our prison is quite huge. Now this here is the main road which is basically where all your trucks full of items and that will come from. So if we go over here you can see we've got eight workmen coming now so we're going to go with the basic controls. It's the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and you can see you can zoom right in. Uh, it's edge scrolling so you just move your mouse to the appropriate edge of the way you want to go. I think you can use, yeah, you can use the arrow keys and WASD as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. So up here you have your tasks or your to-do list. So read the CEO's letter. We're just going to delete that. You can read that if you want. And you see we completed that, so it went away, and we have eight prisoners arriving in 24 hours. So that's up here. Also, this here shows you what day it is. We've been playing for two seconds, uh, because we paused it straight away. Up here is your current balance. You can't let that go into debt too much, I don't think, in the settings we've played. But that shows you your funds. And here is your daily cash flow. So this is the amount of money you'll make per day. So we're making, it also has some more details down here. So it says we're making $2,000 a day, but $1,160 is going out per day. So up here you have your clock that shows you the time. Uh, you have what the prisoners are currently doing. You also have your time settings here. Down here you have all these different things we'll get into later. Over here, these red ones are, well, a shakedown is where all the prisoners and places will be searched for contraband items. Lock down all, instantly lock all the doors in your prison. And a bang up is where all willing prisoners go back to their cells. But they'll get pretty annoyed if you leave them locked up for too long. So if we click reports here in the bottom right corner of the screen, the first tab is staff and that shows you all our eight workers. And if we hover over them, it will show you where they are. Next one down is prisoners. Now, if you are new to this game, close normal just by clicking it and open low risk. That will make it a little easier on you. Next tab down is jobs. And this will show what the prisoners are doing at any given time. The next one is grants. Well, the next one available to us is grants. If it's grey, it's not available to you. And we'll get into this once they're available. But grants is what we're going to do now. So... At the moment, you can only have two grants at one time, and you can read through these of what they do, but I'll give you the basic rundown. So, it says you'll get $30,000 on the side, but if you look over to the left, under Basic Detention Center, it says $20,000 advanced and $10,000 completion bonus. Also, under Objectives, it tells you what you need to get that extra $10,000. So this basic detention center we're going to go with, and you see it adds it to our to-do list. 
we're also gonna do this second one. So you see we've got a nice balance here and you see the rest are locked until we complete these two. So now we've got $55,035. That should be enough to get us started at least. And yeah, so now we'll look at the bottom sort of this area. It's sort of the bottom left but it kind of expands into the middle. And yeah, but so over here we already have two quote rooms. So if we click rooms, we'll see here that we've got one delivery and one garbage. Um, basically what we need is a holding cell, a canteen, a kitchen, a shower, and a yard. That's the bare minimum you need to get started. But to get this $10,000, we're going to put all of these in, hopefully today. And yeah, so we're going to start by doing some planning. So if you click planning, three options come up here. You can do walls, objects, and pathways. We're going to start with walls. So straight away, we're going to... Actually, we're going to go with rooms and go deliveries and expand this one. So if I left click and hold and drag, that'll expand the deliveries. If I right click, that'll get rid of it. So I'm going to expand it so this is only too wide. And we're going to build up from here. So we're going to go to planning, walls. By the way, marking rooms doesn't cost anything. So that didn't cost me anything there. But we're going to do some basic planning. And you'll see I made a mistake there. So I can right click and hold and drag and do whatever. And it will get rid of it. But we're going to do a basic hallway here. And we're just going to... Um, yeah, just basically outline that. And planning doesn't cost anything, but when you go into foundations and place a foundation, it'll do all the exterior planned walls that you've set as a foundation. Now, before we start planning our prison, there are two prison types you can create. There's one where it's just a single building, where everything's in one building. Really, no one needs to go outside except if they're going into the yard. This is good because it makes the prison a little more manageable. Well, I suppose both options are manageable. I'm going to, in this uh, series, do that option. The other option is just to have a bunch of little buildings for everything. This is alright because, well... Yeah, it's just a different way of playing it. So, maybe I'll do another series one day where I have each individual building around here. But yeah, um, this is what I'm going to do for today, so yeah. So we started off by, we'll just extend what we're going to be, what is going to be a hallway. And yeah, so basically when you start, when we walk into the prison, we, well, we'll look at rooms to see what we need. We need all of these eventually. But what I like to do is plan out everything. So we want to have our visitation right at the start because we want everyone to see our prisoners happy. And yeah, so if you go into rooms and hover over visitation, you'll see the requirements. So it requires a visitor's table. If we look at something else like a holding cell, you'll see it requires indoors, toilet, and a bench. And it also requires to be sat around, but it always it also requires to be surrounded by walls and doors and a minimum size of 5x5, five five, but visitation doesn't need anything like that. Yeah, Sorry guys, need a drink. I've been talking for 10 minutes straight. So the visitation room just needs a visitor's table, but we're going to look in objects and expand it by pressing the plus here at how big a visitor's table is. So this is the visitor's table. It costs $300. And you'll see it's two squares across. So we're not going to buy one of them. We're just going to plan this out. So I want maybe eventually six visitors tables. So we're going to go to objects. Two. Oh. Three. Four. Five. Six. And then a wall surrounding that. So that's going to be our visitation. 
And we'll put a door there. And maybe another door up here so everyone can get in. I don't know. We'll plan this after. But also, right at the front of the prison, we also want offices. So, offices require, if we look at rooms, where are they? Office. They require to be 4x4 four four size. They require a minimum size of 4x4, four four, an office desk, a chair, a filing cabinet, and they need to be indoors. So we're going to plan this. Go to walls. And basically, if you're planning the exterior walls, they need to be 6x6. Six six. And I think we'll need... That was a bit wrong. I think we'll need at least four offices to start with. But we're going to go with six, I think. Yeah, we'll go with six. Just because I want to add some extra stuff in here. Such as cleaning cupboards and stuff like that. So we're going to have our offices here. And we'll put a doorway there. And we'll put the door, the chairs and all that in afterwards. But yeah, so next I think we'll have... Let's see. Before they enter and exit the prison, they will need to be scanned by a metal detector. So we're going to do a room like that where we'll have a door here, a door here, and a metal detector here and here. So we're going to do objects and that. And we'll put a security guard rostered in here so they'll have to be checked every time they want to enter and exit the prison. Hopefully they won't be entering and exiting. Well, hopefully they won't be exiting too often, but yeah. So next I want to build a... Let's think. Let's build a... Let's see. A holding cell. That sounds like a good idea. So what does it need? 5x5, five five, toilet, and a bench. Well, we don't know how long our prisoners are going to be staying within the holding cell. So we're going to build it, say, 9x9. Nine nine, have the door there, and that's going to want to be a jail door. Before we go any further, I'll explain the different doors. There's a jail door, a large jail door, a door, a solitary door, and a staff door. Also a remote door. The jail door has to have a guard come by, same with a large jail door, has to have a, a guard come by to open it every time someone wants to enter or exit. A door, a normal door, can be opened and closed by anybody. A solitary door is the same as the jail doors, except um, these can only go on solitary rooms and they have to be opened by a guard. A staff door can only be opened by staff. And a remote door will be opened remotely, but we'll get into that in a later video. So, this will be our... What was I going to say it would be? A... Holding cell, yes. Next to that, we'll probably want to have our common room. So that will be another 9x9 nine nine room, and we'll just put open it up right in the middle. So this will have a TV, a couple phones, stuff like that. Um, going back to rooms, we also need shower, yard, execution I think is broken at the moment. So we won't be doing that. Um, yeah, so we'll do the kitchen and canteen now. Now, if we go to... We'll start with the canteen... I can find that. Yep, canteen. It requires a serving table, a table, and a bench. Now, we're planning to have a lot of prisoners, so we'll want to put multiples of these in. But if we go to bench, we'll see it's four across. So is the table, and I think the serving table is five across. So we'll want to have this... Um, 11 spaces internally. Also, if we go to the kitchen, I think the sink is the largest item, and it's three across. The oh, A sink also needs a fridge and a cooker. There are only two across, as you can see. 
So yeah, we can make this kitchen only three tall. So if we go to planning, objects, three, two, two, space, two, two, and then another three. That is five across and it will support our serving tables. So we're going to wall this off. And I think that's going to be a pretty tiny canteen. So what we'll do is extend it a little bit. I think I'll do this just to make it match. So we'll go object planning. Like that. And yeah, so now we'll go back into objects for the canteen. Four, four, four. Another set, another set. And we'll put our serving tables up the front here. this is going to be our canteen and kitchen. You'll see we'll have some space in the middle here and we'll probably roster another guard in here because this is a common place for fights to break out. Next we'll want to build a shower. Actually I think... Yeah I think we could build a shower. What else do we need? Workshop, security, infirmary. Alright, we require health for an infirmary, but we'll plan that. What does an infirmary need? Just needs no size requirements, so we'll make that an infirmary. What do our... We need... For our security room, which we're going to build later on, it requires door controls, which are... I believe they're five across. I'm not exactly sure. We'll just plan out the same size room as these and we can always expand later. Yep, so next we'll need a shower. So, hold on, is there anything I missed? Workshop, security, morgue, kennel, armory, laundry forestry, classroom. Nothing really we need at the moment. Um, so we're going to do the shower and solitary. So showers, they don't need anything specifically. They just need... Okay, so that's 13 across. We'll just make the shower even at 13 across. So this is going to be our shower. And we'll do a opening here. I think that's even. And yeah, so that'll be our shower. It's going to be quite a large shower, but we'll need the large shower because, well, yeah, we just need it. Actually, no, I think we'll shrink the shower a bit, so we'll make it about that big, and we can always expand later. But now we'll do the solitary, and I'm just going to check what solitary needs. It just needs to be one by one, surrounded by walls and doors. So what we're going to do, is we're going to give them a little more space than that. We'll make it two by three. Yeah, I think we can do that. And we'll extend this canteen one more to accommodate the solitary. I mean this shower, one more to accommodate for solitary. And we'll put a hallway in here and a door there. So, now that that's done, we'll just extend the hallway down here. And we'll make a room here. Maybe this will be a cleaning cupboard or something. 
But yeah, so we're going to extend a hallway up here. And across here. And now we're going to design our first cell block. So cells, if we look here, they require a minimum size of 2 by 3 indoors, bed, and a toilet, and they also need to be enclosed. So basically, the same size as our solitary. So we're going to go to planning, walls, and we'll just make our first one all the way up here. Now it's good to make your cells in groups of eight because the prisoners come, as you can see, in groups of eight usually. And yeah, so we're just going to make our cells like this. So we've got two, three, four. Um, yeah, we might extend this up to eight. What I like to do is have uh, double-sided cells, so you'll have a row here and a row here, and then just keep going along. Six, seven, eight. I think that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's eight. We're going to have a two-wide hallway. And the game was just auto-saving there. I don't know if that lagged up at all for you. But yeah, we're just going to create a basic cell block. It's going to have 16 cells in it. And yeah. So all of these are going to be cells. We'll probably make all of them straight away. And yeah, so we were going to have... I forgot what we were going to put here. Damn, I'll have to rewatch the video. We're going to put a security room, um, common room, infirmary, and something else. So what we'll do is we'll probably have the common room and the infirmary there. So we'll make them accessible on both sides. But yeah, so that's going to be our basic prison. Now we're going to go to foundations building in brick and just select all of this like so and you'll see that cut into our profits quite a bit so now we're going to before we start up the game we're going to go to objects large jail door now you press R to rotate items or I think you, yeah you can middle click as well we're going to place that there so it creates a door so we can get in and out. And now we're going to speed up the game as much as we can. And you'll see the truck with our workers is coming along. And yeah, so we're going to start placing items in rooms. So I think we'll start with the offices. So we'll put in a... I think we'll create two offices to start with. So we'll put in two doors, two office desks, um, two chairs, and a f two or oh, one filing cabinet in each room. So you'll see they're building the foundations and we might need to extend our deliveries here. I don't know, we're going to get a few trucks backed up. But yeah, so you'll see they're building it and sooner or later this will enclose in. So now we're going to put in a normal door here. And I don't want to cancel that, so I'm just going to put a door in on top of it. That's a jail door there. And we're going to put jail doors in all up here, because they actually no. I don't know if I can cancel that. Actually, I think I can select it. No. Oh well. 
The only reason you don't want to put those jail doors in right then is so that the workers can get in and build everything else, but I think we'll be okay. So we'll just wait until this um, foundation is done, and I'll probably speed this up. While this is going guys, it's probably a good idea to explain all of these tabs down here. So foundations we've already used, it makes the basic floor outline of each building and as you'll probably see, the exterior walls will be built as soon as you as soon as the foundation is finished. Materials is basically all the like building materials, so you've got fence, you've got dirt, these are all paths. These ones here are walls, so you can place walls on the inside like we will shortly. Rooms we've already done, it basically selects the different rooms, like, ah, uh, there's the thing being built. That's been built, and this has been built. So you'll see all of that's been built, but the rooms are basically all of the designations for what everything is. Objects is everything that you place in the specific rooms and each room needs specific objects. Staff is where you can hire different staff to do different things so straight away we're going to want to hire a warden, some cooks, some guards and eventually some doctors and basically all of these. Utilities, we'll get into that now I suppose. Um, your prison, they ne it needs power and water so if you go into utilities, you'll see you get one power station, one capacitor, and one water station already, as well as 20 electrical cables and 20 large pipes. Basically, your prison needs power and water, and yes, yeah, so we're going to count. I just got to check how big these are. It is 3 by 3. So we're going to plan... Well, basically, I think we'll just put them here. So the power station, it needs... It needs access on all sides because you put capacitors around it, like so. So that's going to be our power station. And our water pump will go there. Unless I can find a better place to put them. But no, that seems about right. So that's what's going to happen, um, so we're just going to put utilities, power station, we'll put the capacitor just there, and the water station, oh no, there. We just got $35 for some reason, and you'll see now it's being powered, oh, it's meant to be being powered. You'll see there's two lines here, each, if we didn't place this capacitor already, this one bit, this one bottom half here will be the whole thing. But now that we've placed a capacitor, it's doubled our storage. And each capacitor you place will add another, not doubling, but it will add another amount of storage. Now you see this needs power, so you want to go into utilities. And anything with a cable here needs to be hooked up directly to the power. Things like lights, they can be just they'll just string off from the closest power cable. But yeah, so you see when we added the pump, that red line went up. That's how much power we're using. I should probably pause that while we do all of this because the prisoners are now coming in less than 12 hours and we need to get this done. So we need to build the holding cell. So that's gonna be here. So a holding cell, it needs toilet and a bench and to be indoors. So we're just going to designate that right now. And you see it failed to complete because it needs uh, to be surrounded by walls and doors. It needs to be indoors and it needs to have a toilet. It has a bench, apparently. Oh well. 
we're going to put a, a bench in. We're going to put that here. We're going to put some beds in just because, you know, we don't know how long the prisoners are going to be waiting in here. I think we'll put another bench in here. No, we won't. We'll just put a couple of toilets in as well, though. So one here. And one here. That's going to get placed in here, and then the holding cell will be fine. Next, we'll designate the canteen. So that's this area here. And we'll also designate the kitchen while we're here. So now we've got to place the objects in, so we're going to put a cooker in, a fridge, and for the moment we'll put in one sink. We'll put it on this side because that's the way it rotated. And we'll also put in four benches and two tables to start out with. We'll also put in one serving table. Now, the serving table, it does matter which way you place it. And the grated edge, that grey bit at the top there, needs to be accessible for the prisoners. So we're going to put both of them in here. You've got to kind of imagine it like they'll grab their tray and they'll slide it along grabbing food. So yeah, that's them done. Uh, since these have already been done, we'll designate these as officers. And they just need doors. Oh wait, no, they've got doors. But this will need doors. And we'll just put normal doors on them. This needs to have a jail door on it because it's a holding cell, but we'll wait for now for that. Now, this is going to be our shower, so we'll designate that as a shower. And you'll see it needs a shower head. Now, it says passed for some reason. I don't know why, but it needs a shower head. So, before we do that, we're going to do a little bit of planning. We're going to do objects first. We're going to see... Shower heads don't need to be one apart, but I like to do it just because it makes it look a little better. We're going to do it like this. Oh, that's going to mess with me. It's not even. We'll just do it like that. No. Oh well, the back wall will just be all shower heads. Oh, is that why it's not working? The room's not even? Oh no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be our first set. And then we're going to put a wall in here. Shower head here, sh space, shower head here. Um, actually, we're just going to do it like this. So we're going to have walls in here and then shower heads either side. And yeah, so we'll just do it like that. This basically maximizes the amount of space we can use, and I'm going to get rid of that because it's annoying me. And yeah, so I'll also get rid of them. Not that it's needed, I'll just do it. And I'll do that. Uh, just because it makes it look even. But yeah, so we're going to grab, go to materials, brick wall since we used brick wall for the rest of this place. And we're going to outline the shower. And the rest of the places we uh, need to mark off. So 
so we'll do it like this. This is going to cost quite a bit of money. So we'll just do the bare minimum. That needs to be done. And you see we put a hallway in back here. I have no idea why. This is enough room for another solitary. So we'll go back to planning. Walls. And we'll see. Objects. We'll just do it like this. It just adds a little extra space. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, we'll go back to materials. Brick walls. Place these in. There'll be a door there. Um, yeah, so we'll place all the brick walls we need. And actually, nah, that's all we've designed for the moment. So we'll just go back to objects, shower head. place all the shower heads in here. Now this can get very expensive. As you can see, we're already down to 14,000. Well, 13,000. So we're going to leave that for now because we need to spend money elsewhere. We're going to put this on one times speed. <coughs> so, holding cell, check. Shower, check. Yard, we can do that now. Kitchen, check. Canteen, check. Two guards, two chefs. Alright, so all we need to do is build the yard. Which we'll just do very simply here. We'll go demolish walls. And we'll put in a fence around here. So we'll make it 12 by... 12 by 12. Doesn't matter what size it is. Um, just as long as it's there. We'll go yard. Minimum size 5x5 five five behind at least one door. We'll wait until that's been done. But yeah, so you see this is being built. Now the prisoners, they'll go to the holding cell before they get an allocated cell. So basically, you don't want to keep them there too long because it can start fights and riots and stuff like that. So we're going to speed this up here. And hopefully they'll start building lights soon. Do you see we need our water here? So we'll go down to utilities and large pipe. Now you want to use large pipe to go long distances because small pipe doesn't go long distances but you want to do small pipe to connect it up because prisoners can travel through large pipe. They can't travel through small pipe. So you want to use the large pipe in, like I am, like in hallways and stuff like that. Basically, you don't want large pipe in cells. So we can do the large pipe. Actually, no, we probably won't. We'll do it like that. And just have it coming through like this. So we'll do the exterior of the building here. just extend the pipe all the way down because we'll need this eventually we might as well get it out of the way now and yeah so going back into utilities we need to put in our power for the kitchen so we're going to bring this down here and through here and you'll see it needs to be connected up 
Also, water needs to go to this tap here. Or the sink here, I should say. So we're just gonna... Also, small pipe is cheaper, so if you can use small pipe, use small pipe. So I'm just gonna put some small pipe there. So this is all being built. And once this is built, I'll put the door on here. You'll see up here where it says sleep, if you click that, it goes straight to the regime. But you need to hire a warden to change this. So what we're going to do straight away is staff, warden. And you can only hire one, but that's all you need. We'll hire the warden. That'll be used later, and it's probably not going to help us much now. Ah, we got power, so power's being hooked up, and if we go to... U no, not your bureaucracy, however you say it. If we go to power, you see the green line is where power is. So all these lights, the little dots, and you'll see as the power gets hooked up, more lights turn on and we can see more of the prison. So we want to go to utilities, electrical cable, and we basically want to put in an adequate amount of cable. And we'll just go up here. down this hole, and we'll go down a little bit here, just so the lights can get power. And I think you'll find, yes, we used up all our power, so what we'll want to do is go to utilities and build another capacitor. And once that gets built, I'll show you how to turn your power station back on. Ah, uh, the prisoners are coming in three hours, so what we want to do is go to staff, hire two guards, and two cooks. So all we need to do is build a holding cell and build the yard. Ah, uh, we're going to pause this right here. Go rooms, yard, and just designate this as a yard. Also, the yard needs to be sealed off by a door, so we'll put the door there, and now that is fine. So we'll speed this up again. Oh, this video is going a little long. We'll speed this up, and we might see the prisoners come in very soon. We've got two hours. Ah, uh, so now that that ca capacitor's been built, you want to turn... To turn the power station back on, you want to turn the capacitors on first. That's very important, the, compa the capacitors go on first. So we want to speed this up. It's very important the capacitors go on first, because if you don't turn the capacitors on first... Ooh, that's quite high. We'll build another capacitor. If you don't turn the capacitors on first, the power station will just overload again, and the whole thing will brown out. So now that the holding cell's being built, just needs water. It should have water. Does this still need to be built? I hope that doesn't still need to be built. Let's dismantle that. put this on single speed. Speed this up a tiny bit. Prisoner intake in an hour that you'll see that flash there. So now that's being built, we're going to do a water station. Place that there. And hopefully that'll be built. But we need to build the holding cell. So all it needs now is a jail door on it. And that'll pass the test. Hopefully. Um, so hopefully that fixed the problem. Uh, we might need more power up to it. So we'll build a power cable. Yeah, it requires power, so it's been built. <clears throat> Those guys take one piece of cable each, and that guy takes the whole spool, so I don't know what's wrong with the other two.
Um, we'll designate this area here as a shower since it doesn't look like it's been designated. So that whole place is a shower now. And we still don't have water, so I don't know what's up there. Maybe if I restart the game. So, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.